be conscious of energy has been uh, kind of top of mind for a lot of people in California, especially with all the wildfires and the expensive gas prices. I've become more energy aware, I think I have, much more aware because of the lockdown and people working from home and my partner working from home. So we use, I imagine we're using much more power. Over the last year, I would say that I've become more energy conscious, more from questions of sustainability and having a desire to um, limit my footprint on the world, I suppose. It's because of the climate change, because of my children, and um, I want a better world for them. Before, I did not pay attention to that. It had nothing to do with me, but now I think this is a business for everybody. We have to pay attention, we have to do something. We get more frequent queries from our energy provider, both email and text now, uh, sometimes once a week queuing us in on ways to save energy. My energy provider, they have sent me a few emails that have kind of given me options in terms of where I'd like my energy to come from. They provide us a smart meter and in the smart meter you can see uh, which um, home products using more power. I do worry a bit that these uh, new ways are uh, Unpredictable, unpredictable due to the weather. On the other hand, our government has this topic so high on the priority list. So I'm sure this, this new renewable way of energy will be safe for all of us. I appreciate that when a person first looks at renewable resources, particularly energy, you think that there's a chance you could run out of them. but. I'm pretty sure the sun is not going to stop shining. We all have our part to play. A small amount of money on top of bills in order to help combat climate change is a very small price to pay. There's a lot of development in terms of battery retention and stuff like that, so I think we, we're going to get pretty close to be able to control this soon with the investment and the innovation.